Okay guys, welcome back. So now this is the fourth, I think, video now. Looking at this platform game. So, so far we've managed to get collectibles, we've managed to change levels, sound, movement, creating a level. So I think pretty much the last thing we need is a bad guy or something like that. So what I've gone and done, you might be able to see on screen, so I've got this little little guy I've got of open game art, like a little goombery kind of thing. So that's going to be our enemy, which I've loaded in. So what I need to do firstly, as you can imagine, is me to create a variable to store it in. So let's have enemy image. Let's load that enemy image in. Let's just get rid of that. Um, what are you doing here? Um, it goes to load image. Oh, it's a bit laggy there. And I think it's what enemies.png. So that's our bad guy loaded in. So now we can go ahead and actually create that uh, sprite. So I'm just going to pop it before my tiles. And I'm going to make a new group. So enemy equals a new group, just like that. Again, just for the size, it just works a little bit better to be 51, not 50, but it's 50 by 50 image. But I think because there's a little bit of white space on the left hand side of the picture, it just <coughs> eclipses it a little bit. So just moving it a little, along a little bit. Enemy.tile equals an exclamation mark, let's call it. Um, we need to make sure we've got a rotation lock on there. So enemy.rotation lock equals true, so it doesn't fall over on his side. Enemy.friction equals zero enemy dot drag equals zero just stop it from sliding along uh, or getting stuck on the floor because it does happen sometimes we need to make it move so enemy dot bell dot x equals minus 0.2 so it's going to move to the left um enemy dot sprite sheet equals the enemy image that we've already got and then we can add some animations, so add Annie's. So we want run, which is going to be row zero, row zero, frames nine, so that's what we've already got. And then that should be our little guy appearing in our game uh, once we get him somewhere so let's just put him next to the coin there and hopefully he'll load in okay so there's our guy he's looking a little bit big at the minute and he's glitching around a little bit so we've got some bits to change i think there but he's there so that's good so i think now what we need to do is scale him down so enemy dot scale equals 0.3 and then we'll just change this collider okay so let's see how that looks okay so there's a little guy just walks around gets stuck in the grass and then just gets stuck a little bit um but that's looking pretty good so far so now let's get him moving how we want him to move so all we really need to do now is we'll add in some sensors so he um, moves correctly. So he moves left and right. And we make sure that when we hit him, he kills us or we kill him. So let's just try that out now. So let's just go ground sensor uh, dot overlaps. Then we've got the enemy. And then we've got sensor and the enemy. Like that. And then we're just going to say if player.bell.y is greater than zero. So if we're jumping, then we're just going to do e.remove. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll do player.overlaps enemy. And then we're going to look at the um, player and the enemy. Like that. And then we're just going to do um, player dot speed equals zero we'll just stop it from moving player 
dot x equals 48 player dot y equals 100. So we'll see if that works. Oh, uh, I've got a little bit OTT on here. Um, so I've already put in a function that I've got called enemies move, which is the next bit. Um, so we're going to put call it in here, then we're going to make it. I suppose I should have made it first, really. I put it in thinking, oh yeah, well, um, write that first before I run it. So function enemies move. And all we're going to do is just go through each of the enemies. So for e of enemies or enemy, sorry. And then we're going to do if e dot overlaps f1 or e dot overlaps f3 so I'll two corner bits or if e dot overlaps the coin as well so it moves if it hits a coin as well so you don't have to worry about the coins we're just going to do e dot vel dot x times equals minus one to reverse it so if it's going left it'll go right if it's going right it'll go left and then if e dot vel e dot vel dot x is less than zero so if it's facing one way we're going to do e dot mirror dot x equals false else e dot mirror dot x equals true so hopefully now it will run absolutely fine and then our little guy is moving between them now what we need to do now is have it so we stomp him, so that's worked. And then if I just manage to get to that part of the level without dying, I think as well, let's talk about level design. If I run into him, I reset. So that's our enemy sorted. I think we're going to stop the video there because that was a bit annoying. And then we've got to look at in the next video is how we can make a better map, a bit better level design. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.